Today I'm going to share with you the infinity wreath for fall. And when I'm done, I need you guys to let me know, did I nail it or did I fail it? Stay tuned. Hi guys and welcome back and if you're new hello and welcome my name is Sharon and today I'm going to share with you as I said earlier an infinity wreath I saw this wreath online for $39 and I saw something similar to it at Joanne Crafts and at Michaels uh, I went to Michaels and I purchased the three rings the six inch ring cost me two dollars the 12 inch ring cost me five dollars and the 16th inch ring cost me seven dollars then I used a 20% off coupon. So I ended up paying roughly because I already had the greenery and I already had the floral wire that I'll be using today. I have my floral rings painted. And just a quick reminder, the largest one is 16 inches. The next one down is 12 inches. And the smallest one is six inches. I would have preferred maybe a nine inch one, but they didn't have it. So I'm gonna make do with what they have and now I have. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. This video is a part of a challenge called Nailed It or Failed It and is being hosted by Carrie, Mama Dares to DIY, and Keisha at Sweet Urban Rose. I will leave a link to both of their channels down below in the description box. Stop by and check them out if you haven't already. I will also leave a link to the playlist of all the participants participated in today's challenge. Now the details to this challenge is that we are supposed to dupe a favorite high-end piece for fall. We are to duplicate it for less. So I went online as usual looking for home decor that I can recreate or dupe for less. I would like to be able to place the florals on here where you can still see the overlapping of the rings. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that happen, but that's what I see in my mind. I think that's it. I think I like that setup. I think that'll work for me because it gives me the space to put the flowers in the greenery around the bottom, but still allows you to see the other rings. So let's put this together. As I said earlier, I'm just going to use floral wire to make this happen. Now something that I didn't take into consideration is that this wire is green, a dark green, and I painted the uh, rings a light gray. Um, so that's something you might wanna keep in mind too. I, I didn't see any silver floral wire, but um, I probably could have maybe touched this up. But I'm gonna try my best to cover this part here with some greenery. So just be mindful where you place it so you can cover it.
Now you can use floral wire or you can use hot glue. Um, I had, um, in, my intentions is to use floral wire uh, as opposed to hot glue because even though hot glue is temporary and I can remove it, it makes more of a mess than it, with the floral wire. I'm gonna add, like to add maybe some pumpkins and then in the center I can do one gray and maybe one white. Hey guys, let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm gonna leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow. I love making wreaths. One of the things I like about this infinity wreath is it can be modern, it can be farmhouse, it can be glam. You can dress it up or dress it down and you can move the rings around to make it look like a Venn diagram of any sorts. So I love home decor that is versatile, that allows me to switch it up and change it around based on my mood and the season that I'm decorating for. Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you enjoyed my infinity wreath for the fall. So I ask you, did I nail it or did I fail it? Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. I want to thank Carrie of Mama Dares to DIY and Keisha of Sweet Urban Rose for inviting me to participate today. I had lots of fun. At the end of this video, click one of the links to see more home decor by Creative Glam. Have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.